Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to go over the Dell PowerEdge R530 and specifically we're going to cover how to do NAS updates. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build out a network um, and we're going to go through the Dell Lifecycle Controller and show you how to perform mass updates. And some of the updates that we're talking about, we're going to update the BIOS, the iDRAC, the firmware, the onboard diagnostics, uh, the NIC card, uh, plus a ton of other stuff. And we're going to show you step by step exactly how to do do that. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by again today to learn more about the Dell Power R530 server. As we continue our series, this part is going to be about how to do mass updates. We're going to show you uh, how to just run a bunch of updates at one time. All right, well, let's get rolling. So uh, first things first, you're going to boot up your system just like normal. Uh, you're going to click F10 to get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller. Uh, once you get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller, uh, which does take a little bit of time, uh, sometimes during the um, just the initialization, uh, it, it's not always the, uh, the fastest because obviously it's just booting up, it's got a lot to do, so uh, do be patient with it. But uh, once it does actually officially uh, enter into the lifecycle controller, uh, you'll have an option where you can uh, select your actual settings, uh, which is going to be on the left, and then you can navigate down to uh, network settings. All right, so after you click network settings, you need to make sure that you pick the network port that your Cat5 cable is plugged into. Ours is under the integrated NIC1 that's selected. Then for the IP address source, you need to go to DHCP. And once you're done, you should click finish in the bottom right corner. This will apply the changes and automatically set the IP address, which will give the server internet access. All right, it's gonna pop up and say success for your network settings. You're gonna click OK. Once you click OK, you're gonna to wanna to go to firmware update. Once you select firmware update, you're gonna get several options. You're gonna to wanna to click launch firmware update. Once you've launched the firmware update, you're gonna to wanna to select network share CIFS or NFS or HTTPS or HTTPS server. And then you're gonna click next. Once you've clicked next, there's gonna give you um, several different options and you're gonna select the, uh, the bubble for HTTPS. Under the share name address, you wanna make sure that it says downloads.dell.com. All right, after you click next, do know it's gonna take some time to prepare uh, all the different updates that you need. Uh, so right now it's a little bit of a waiting game. Just be patient, sit back and relax uh, as it goes through. You might get prompted with something like a firmware update. As far as um, lifecycle controller does not import, just click yes. Uh, that's not a big deal. And really you're just gonna keep waiting for a little bit of time here and it'll pop up and it'll show you um, all the you know the various updates that you need to do um, and again you know it's just a waiting game so we're going to actually fast forward for a second here all right so eventually it's going to pop up and it's going to show you all of the various updates that you need uh, it'll be different for different people on ours you can see everything from you know the os driver pack the nic needs to be updated firmware is going to need to be updated it's just going to go through literally every individual thing which is really really nice that it's going to show you all the different you know options and everything that you need to do uh, looks like our you know, hba 330 needs to be updated the iDRAC controller needs to be uh, updated so basically everything just realistically needs a, a good refresh for this server here so and do note when you um, you select all of them click apply it will take anywhere from you know a few minutes to hours and I do mean that hours sometimes uh, we'll do mass updates and we you know we're needing to update 100 servers at a time we'll leave them running overnight and come back and some of them still aren't done so it, it does take quite a bit so if it's something that uh, you know you don't want it down or whatever I, I do recommend doing it overnight sometimes it's helpful but in general just do expect it will take some time after you've applied all the updates you want to verify that the updates went through um, you're simply just going to hit F10 back on the boot menu. You're going to go back into your lifecycle controller, click firmware update, 
and you'll view your current versions and this will actually show you uh, that everything is the you know the most current version is up to date and that everything is you know ready and and good to go so i uh, appreciate you stopping by today to learn how to do some mass updates on your r530 server if you're looking to custom build one do us a favor email us at sales at cloud ninjas.com or check out our website we'd love to quote you and earn your business appreciate you stopping by take care